Hey, welcome back to another video. Don't mind this mess. It doesn't matter, because uh, today we're doing rod bolts. We're gonna see if ARPs actually throw out the rod sizing. So, uh, let's get to it. All right, this is a uh, cylinder number one. I took all the rods out, I have them all laid out. I have all the bolts out, and I have them all in line of which hole goes in which. So I have them all sitting on the bench with the dot up, one through eight. And then I have all the bolts in line. So here I have uh, the cap for rod one. Um, there is a little sleeve on the back side, which um, I, don't, I don't know if you're supposed to pull that out or not, but it kind of like captives the bolts. So I actually had to take a, a driver or a, the socket and then screw them out. And then for this, the ARPs, I did the exact, exact opposite. I screwed them in and now um, before I bolt it all together, I'll clean the threads, I'll clean the faces of the rod and rod cap. So let's do that now. All right, yeah, make sure there's no dirt or any debris on these faces, because uh, when you torque them down, it'll throw the cap out. I'm like 100% sure of that. And then uh, also this grit will change out your like torquing. Not by much, but it'll change it. So I'm just gonna take some uh, brake clean, spray them down, just get all that grit out. Don't mind the carpet because it is junk. So uh, we'll do the rod, big end, and then uh, we'll put in the vise and then keep on moving forward. All right, what we got here, um, I have the brake clean just drying off right now. And I have two scrap pieces of aluminum, uh, this side and this side. And uh, really, I should have it vised this way, but you know, it's, it should still be fine. I don't have it tight, it's barely tight at all as long as it doesn't flex or whatnot. They do make um, rod vices, but you know, that's a little bit overkill. I'm not a professional builder, and probably many of you aren't either. So this is the way I got it, and now we'll put some ARP fastening assembly lube on our threads, on the ARPs, um, and then bolt it together and torque it down. There we go, and then, uh, Clean. I'll actually, bring them in like so. Now we'll fit them. Oh, let me clean up that side's dry. There we go. That's nice and seated. Now I'm not going to torque them with this, I'm just, just a little bit quicker. And now, let's torque it up. Here we have this fancy snap-on wrench. And uh, I'm going to torque it twice. I'm going to start at 25, do both of the rod bolts. I don't think it, any order really matters. Right there. And now we're gonna go to 45 because that's what I saw online and everything online is true. We're gonna torque on 45. Now if you want more accurate, um, the best way to do it is do the bolt stretch, but you need uh, the dial indicator with a little um, setup piece. So you can actually check like the stretch of the bolt. That'll give you way more accuracy than torquing it down, but this will be good enough for us. Uh, <laughs> saying a pro motor, so this will be good enough. Uh, now that we got them torque, we'll do all the rest of them, and then um, I'm gonna go ahead and measure them. So let's measure them next. All right, we just got these measured up. Um, I don't have any footage of me measuring these, but I'll give you a quick, uh, gist of how I did it. Um, I had the rods like this. Just pretend this is a dial bore gauge. I don't have one here. Um, I uh, borrowed one. I did a measurement here, here, and here. I didn't use a special rod uh, dial indicator. Um, whatever they use at the machine shops. I just used a regular dial bore gauge. 
And here are my results. Um, measurement A, B, and C, as you can see here, the dot is up, which is right there, and all eight rods. So, um, the only really significant one that I really pinpointed was number two, which was half a thou above the center. But it is super close, uh, let's see. Yeah, super close, all of them are like really within each other. So I don't think like these ARPs are really torquing the cap out of round or anything major like that. These are broken caps, so they should center on themselves and you know, like hold it where it's supposed to be of where it was bored. So I think uh, ARPs are totally fine if you just want to swap to ARPs. I can't see a big issue. Maybe someone that can uh, say something in the comments can, uh, I don't know, answer some questions of like these ARPs and why everyone says like not to use them and some people say it's fine, which I'm kind of towards the way where people think it's fine to use ARPs. Uh, but I guess these are uh, no problem. You can reuse these, but uh, I guess if you you know, run RPMs and a lot of power, I guess you want the ARPs, but then you have risk of a, a failing rod or a bend rod or a rod shooting out the block. But yeah, that's just my take on it. Um, just a little experiment. Uh, I was told to go with ARPs and I did, I bought them, I tested, I measured, and here are the results. So, take it for all you will, get our ARPs, don't get ARPs, it's really up to you. So, for this build that I'm doing, the 700 horse power build, 700 horse, uh, crank horsepower, that's what I'm aiming for, which is like 580 to the wheels. Disclaimer, take it for all you will, this is what I'm doing, I'm using ARPs, uh, I'm not resizing them, they seem good to me. When we do install these, we are going to plastic gauge them. Um, I guess the best thing to do is actually put your bearings in, measure the bearings, uh, measure the crank journals, and then um, get the difference. But really, I kind of, I can do that if I wanted to. I got access to the tools, but I really want to try the plastic gauge. Just, just because a lot of people don't have access to these, these tools and uh, they don't want to buy them. Which, uh, same with me, I don't want to buy them. I don't really own that many. I sh really should, but I don't. So, if you want to support uh, this build, um, it costs you nothing. Hit the subscribe button. Um, it helps me you know, a little or whatever. It's uh, just a way to support this channel and uh, me moving th through this build. So, it costs you nothing if you want to do it. And if you don't, then um, that's fine too. So, maybe just come back for another video. And um, I'm in it here and uh, have a good one.